hello guys in this video we will learn how we can use different analog blocks for our plc program very first we will go to our file to new file and choose ladder diagram so once we open the file it will show like this we can save it by from file to save as now we can give it a name so let's do that here to bring in the analog blocks first of all we'll need to go down this uh, left side menu of instruction and go into this analog section here we have analog comparator analog threshold trigger analog amplifier watchdog differential trigger and so on so these blocks are related to analog operations so let's bring in the analog comparator first let me zoom in a little bit so this analog comparator it will take in two input one is ax and another one is a y and it will compare between these two input and based on that uh, input difference it will trigger an action so let's take two analog input first in the diagram so this is our a i1 analog input let's bring another that is a i2 analog input so let's connect them to a x and a y also connect them to the power rail now suppose you want to turn on a contact based on this comparison so for that reason we'll need to make bring a make contact and this make contact would be the contact of sf001 so let's go down choose this one and it will be the contact of our analog comparator let's also bring in a relay coil that would be activated based on the logic given here so this is the circuit now let's configure the comparator suppose we have 0 to 600 value and our analog comparison will be based on this value now let's say you want to turn on your load when the analog sensor reaches 100 of value and you want to turn off when it exceeds 200 so basically it's a limit you are setting here that is 100 to 200 between this limit our output will turn on and outside this limit our output load will be turned off so suppose you also want to see suppose you also want to see the values in a display screen so for that reason we'll bring in the mass text enable this by connecting to the rail also terminate this uh, message block by taking a contact of message text and a relay coil of flag memory let's choose m1 or you can choose anyone so connect them let's configure the masses block so we want to see what is the value in ax to show the value let's choose this block and it will show you the ax value you can also uh, bring in the other values by scrolling this sidebar so we want to see the ax value choose this and press in insert parameter then you want to bring the ay value choose ay and bring in the parameter and now you also want to see the uh, current value that is ax minus ay amplified so let's do that ax minus ay so that's it so how our values whenever it comes between this range that is ax minus ay and the limit is 200 to 100 to 200 whenever this difference is in that limit our output will turn on so also let's see the output status here the output is connected with our 
so to connect the output status you need to choose this on and off symbol it will bring in a window here you need to choose digital output and it will automatically detect the outputs given in the circuit so now let's hit ok so that's all for our programming let's do the simulation first so you can see our ax the analog sensor it's currently in zero value so if you click here it will give you a slider so suppose you are giving it to 300 or 400 and 1 now whatever value you put in ai2 it will be uh, minus from this ai1 and whenever the limit comes between the 100 200 limit it will turn on this load so this is 401 we need to bring some value like if it is 301 so i am choosing the value of ax is 265 that's 205 okay now the difference the first one is first one value is 401 second value is 205 the difference between these two is 196 so it's in the limit between 0 to 100 to 200 that's why the output is turned on whenever i further increase this so still the output is in the range whenever i exceed the limit that is below 100 the output will turn off so this is how the analog comparator works so i hope you got a better understanding of this so you can implement this into your hardware now let's upload this program to our plc device go to tools transfer pc to logo once the windows pop up you can test it okay next next we have to put okay now the program has been uploaded to our plc do you want to turn it into run mode yes we want to do that okay the program has been uploaded successfully now let's have the hardware demonstration part hello guys this is the hardware demonstration part for our hardware demonstration we need two analog sensor so here are two potentiometer that we have used as analog sensor this is sensor 1 this is sensor 2 the output of this sensor that is the uh, variable point we have taken our wire and inserted it into our i7 point and from second sensor we have taken a wire and we have inserted it into i8 because for this plc i7 and i8 it is uh, mentioned that i7 would be ai1 and i8 will be ai2 we can also use another two analog input like i1 i2 for ai3 and ai4 so for this demonstration we have used ai1 and ai2 at i7 and i8 port so now if we can notice carefully in the display the first analog sensor value this is ax298 we can change that by using this potentiometer and you can see i am varying this the second sensor value can also be varied by you can see here the value is changing the program has been uh, uploaded into the plc in such a way that whenever the difference between these two sensors will be between 100 to 200 only then the output would be uh, lit on so let's bring the difference between these two into 100 to 200 range so i am increasing so you can see one is 231 and one is 128 the difference is 103 so the difference has uh, has been brought into the limit between 100 and 200 if we increase it keep increasing once it exceeds the 200 you can see when whenever it exceeds the limit it turns off the output again if i go down into the limit that is 100 to 200 limit it will again turn on the light so this is how we can use analog sensors and analog compatible block to design our program into the plc thank you see you in the next video